All right. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. And I'm not sure if this is. I think I think this is the right way to uh, to use the mic. No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh man. All right, uh, before we start uh, the whole midnight talk again, uh, I am going to give a some sort of like disclaimer or some sort of like warning, I guess. We are going to very like uh, touchy territory here very uh, sensitive topics these are just like my thoughts uh, you don't have to like you know make it more dramatic don't misinterpret it okay do not uh, use this as like some sort of like uh, example or anything these are just mine mine alone no nothing bad is going on you don't have to worry about anything okay we're just here being open-minded chilling you know you know i do have some tendencies to actually you know uh kick the uh, kick the bucket or uh like the euphemism of kicking the bucket is something that people i rarely uh like hear people uh use that kind of like uh term or euphemism uh for this kind of uh thing because when when people say like you know uh something that is something similar but you know uh people can misinterpret it as like a mental issue uh, mental issue or something something's wrong with their mental health i'm talking uh to myself at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night and you think I have mental issues I know I have mental issues okay chill uh, a lot of times every uh, every now and then I have you know those thoughts but even though you know I have those thoughts and I believe everyone have those like intrusive uh, thoughts that uh you know sometimes just pop into their head and just like if i i can actually do something like that yeah it's like i could do it but my 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 sanity says you're better off not doing it so you're good you're good okay and uh everyone has those intrusive thoughts but for me I have intrusive thoughts like every you know sane person yes and I know how to control them uh, but I also have uh, you know uh, situations that I happen to you know uh, get into where I almost uh, saw the light <laughs> if you uh, if you know what I mean so uh one thing like one major thing uh is that i am a, i am a adult now okay i had a job uh and i get around places on a motorcycle i own a motorcycle and uh yes you wouldn't see anything out of the ordinary uh, to it you know depends on where you're living uh, like me I'm living in Malaysia and you know I am sitting somewhere that <clears throat> it's much easier to ride a motorcycle rather than you know riding or uh, sorry driving uh, in a car uh, but even though people say it's easy to you know ride around uh, in the city on a motorcycle they didn't mention how dangerous it is as well because you know when you're on the road you are exposed 
to you know a lot of things and i know there's gonna be people hating me on this saying like oh you're so weak you can't even uh, handle uh, riding a motorcycle in malaysia uh, you should just sell your motorcycle and get yourself a car or better yet just use the train and buses but uh, i have ridden uh, you know numerous public transportations i am so good at riding public transportations that i don't even need to like uh, you know look at the map to know where i'm going if i'm already used to it and i know how to like reroute myself if one route uh, was like uh, taking like a very long time like i know my bus routes i know my train routes uh and yes for some people it can get very confusing because there's a, like a whole like train systems but i got the gist of it after like a week uh of like uh using the trains and you know exploring uh, uh the different areas around uh the city but yeah uh it's fine like i'd rather uh take a public transportation uh, even though it's slow but i have a sense of like safety in it you know plus if i you know happen to you know uh, uh come across an accident i won't be alone <laughs> whereas if you're on a motorcycle you're alone <laughs> there are consequences when you're you know riding a, a motorcycle by yourself you know it, when you're in a car or uh, when at least I have like some sense of like safety security kind of thing uh, when I'm riding a car because I love driving cars I love driving uh, my mom's car and even though it's an old car and I love it I love it every single part of it I love it but uh, I kind of like hate it like I, I hate riding a motorcycle because I do tend to have you know uh, come across situations that I would almost get decapacitated is that how you say it? Decap- Decapacitated, We're going with that. We're going with decapacitated. Yeah, uh, numerous times, and you know the thought of falling over my uh, falling over my motorcycle every time I ride it. It just like it like I'm almost there, but I just wiggled it through, and I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I always wear my helmet. I have a windbreaker jacket. Uh, from my dad uh, and I always wear it uh, whenever it's sunny rainy at night I'm not gonna have like you know smelling like smoke every time when I'm going wherever I want okay and ending up like still you know smelling like the road and thinking like oh I still smell okay why not no you smell like the road you, you, you smoking hot or I don't know I just don't like uh, riding a motorcycle uh, you know but because of you know my current situation my financial situation uh, it is I'm better off uh, you know using a motorcycle than getting my own car you know even though there's like a very cheap ass car that I can get first hand from Produa and it, thank you so much they still keep the manual transmission on that thing and uh, I would love to drive that you know it's it's a simple car a very small like city car a little like hatch it's not a hatchback but it's just a nice little yeah, city car basically I'm I'm gonna show it on screen boop there it is uh, and they still have a manual gearbox they still have those fucking uh, stick shifts oh man I I'm seeing like a lot of like these like uh, gear knob trends where basically you know if you want to change gears 
if you're in an automatic uh, transmission car uh, you can set the cars you know uh, you know mode I don't know uh, to wherever you want by just turning a knob rather than you know you know pressing into a stick and shifting into that mode you know and for me it's just like why not like why not just keep the stick why do you have to make it more I mean it is user friendly but I don't know a part of me saying like I do not like where this is going because as you know as technology progress and we have you know more advanced uh, you know f- technology features being put into our cars even like everyday normal city cars uh, they have made it more safe uh, more safety or something uh, and they made it uh, more user friendly like hey you're driving a car you are driving what is essentially a you know a machine that you have to understand you don't need to get the, the car doesn't need to get comfortable with you you need to get comfortable with the car because if you don't get comfortable with the car you don't as you don't understand what's the point of driving a car and like if you don't understand the whole thing or at least like the basis or ba- uh, basic things about a car you should not be driving a car like seriously though do not text and drive do not drive under the influence do not use your phone while driving same thing with texting uh what else do not breathe do not be preoccupied doing other things while driving like putting on uh, makeup drinking unless if it's convenient you know like a fucking straw don't take a jug or a fucking bottle just like that or uh, like oh uh, uh, no you're still uh, you're still occupied you're preoccupied by other things your you know uh like cone of vision is obstructed by a 500 milliliter bottle that you bought from a convenience store uh and yeah th- th- there's just like so much things that you just need to like you know focus on because you're driving on the road with other drivers and mind you with motorcyclists as well <laughs> and you have to be careful with these little cockroaches of the roads because if we have like if we see like a space that we know we can fit through we are going through it no matter what <laughs> it's just like if it fits it sits we go it's just it's just our like you know human mentality uh it's like our like childish thoughts that you don't you don't need to do it you don't have to do it i did it anyways and uh if anything bad happens you blame who you blame yourself don't blame others uh of your consequences cuz mind you you were there you fell off or you were involved in an accident were you in any way uh new or at any point did you know that an accident could occur in that situation if you did know that there is a chance uh, an accident could happen if you cut you know between two massive vehicles i don't care if it's like a you know a tiny ini wini uh, city car or a fucking sedan i don't care they're still massive 
you will stop at any point if you hit the back of them okay uh, if you fit and if you still cut between those two cars and you hit one of their like uh, side mirrors and you fell off your bike who would you blame you cannot blame the drivers unless if they do a very you know sudden turn or you know uh, they did something that would make you uh, hit them uh, unintentionally and uh, you know turn it into an accident basically and this there's like a few layers here and there you know like i think it was like two days ago i was uh, sending my little brother to uh, tu uh, tuition uh, and uh, while i was you know uh, on the road uh, sending him uh, there uh, I was at a traffic light stop. I was at a traffic light, and then you know it just turned red, and then this bike just and 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 the rider was just like fucking pissed, and just hit the uh, hit his own uh, motorcycle at the tank or something. Basically, it's like a big bike. I think I think it was like I don't know more than 200 cc's. Or maybe like 150 if it was modified i guess uh but yeah i was like shit someone didn't make it in time like fuck you know i feel bad for the guy i didn't feel like you know awkward or anything i just i feel bad f uh, i feel bad for the guy you know he was maybe he was you know like running out of time like he was trying to you know race against time and trying to catch the red light maybe because there was a family occasion maybe there was an emergency we have no clue who this uh, driver i uh, sorry who this uh, mysterious rider was mad about why was he mad about why did he have to hit his own motorcycle it didn't do anything bad to him unless you know disappoint him be because it was too slow but <laughs> uh but yeah uh it was kind of like uh awkward i can sense from like the other drivers and other more there's like other like motorcyclists as well and i can like feel the tension but at the same time i can feel some sort of like adrenaline at least coming from him because like when someone's that angry trying to chase the red line and when you break and your fucking back end just went up and then goes back down and i'm, I'm just like shit that guy is fuming with adrenaline and I would love a little hint of it, you know, just a little bit because I love me some adrenaline rush, you know, but I wouldn't be like hitting my motorcycle because it has nothing, it has done nothing bad to me. It has never disappointed me. I have driven, uh, sorry, I have ridden with it uh, for 8,000 plus kilometers and it brought me a to b just like i want it to be i did fell off from it twice it was my mistake uh i wasn't aware of the road uh condition two i was maybe going a bit too fast and was a bit unfamiliar with the road the, it, there was that's it two times i only fell two times and I did, you know, uh, kind of, I didn't fail from the bike, but I kind of like accidentally like didn't put the foot of the motorcycle correctly. And when I went to like uh, lock uh, my home gate, it just fell off. Like, just, oh, 
just drop and I was like fucking hell <laughs> stop it no <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't been in a rush and maybe that's why but I haven't fell uh, I haven't fallen over since uh, please don't jinx please don't jinx <laughs> but I have been riding safely on the road uh, I'm taking very, very I'm taking my like journey very slowly Uh, every time when I want to like go out and use my motorcycle, I would take like a 30 minute uh, head start, uh, you know, to actually just like start my motorcycle, get myself into position or whatnot, you know, prepare myself for, you know, anything that could happen in the future uh, while I'm on my journey going from point A to point B you know and sometimes I really love riding my motorcycle if it's not busy and if it's nice like the weather's nice it's not hot and, and it's not like soaking wet like I have soaken myself uh, in like I've drenched myself in rain to a point where like fuck Like every part of me is wet And this is the only time I don't like it When I'm wet Okay <laughs> uh, But You know Most of the time You know You're sharing the road with other people It's not that I hate sharing the road with other people It's just that You know You just live with it You know Like Yeah you're, you'll get angry about it You know But you don't have to be angry towards other people what have they done they're just sharing the road with you you know you're, at this point you're just hating yourself <laughs> <coughs> I'm just hating myself for you know uh, using a motorcycle you know I wish I could just like go back and just start uh, using public transportations again because that way if I do get mad I'll get mad because you know maybe because there was an interrupted stop uh, or some sort of like uh, train delay or the bus was 40 fucking minutes late okay I had to go on the details because you know the fucking uh, you know app says that it's like you know uh, the, the bus frequently you know uh, comes through the, the this one bus station like every 20 minutes but it has been like an hour and 40 minutes where the fuck is the bus is he taking a piss like did he had like fucking you know a massive curry fiesta or something like what happened like did, did, did he have like fucking uh Asam Laksa or something like Where was it? No, Asam Laksa Jawa? No I forgot that one dish called But it, it was a Asam Laksa was it? No, Asam Pedas It was a spicy Asam Okay, it was a Asam Pedas Melaka or something yeah, I can't remember but still What is it? What is it? Why does he have to Why, why is it taking so long for him to just, you know, come through and pick me up? I've been waving and every single fucking bus driver just fucking doesn't come. Okay, and I do respect for bus drivers. Uh, they have to, you know, endure every single fucking day uh, treating fucking passengers. And sometimes passengers are just way too rude to them. And you know, you just saw me rant there, but I'm not ranting about you know them personally. I'm just saying that you know, if there's a better way for you know bus to you know uh, buses to uh, somehow I don't know follow a, a system or something where that a bus should arrive at a station at a certain time. 
And I do understand that sometimes, you know, the roads can get busy and jammed up. But if it's not, and it's been, it's like, what, fucking four in the evening, everyone's at the fucking office, okay? It's a fucking work day. It's a fucking school day. It's not the busiest time of the day. And yet, there's no fucking buses. Like, what the fuck? Seriously, though. But, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, please don't make this into a hate video. And please do not get this video removed. Uh, but, yeah. Where are we going uh, with this? Uh, I don't know. I kind of kind of left off with, like... I really wanted to, like, go back into uh, using... Uh, public transports, yeah, public transports. Uh, I've been like ranting for like half an hour. Shit, fuck! Uh, I've wasted my time. Uh, I was about to talk like my tendencies of like actually removing myself from this world, but ah man, shit! I've uh, I kind of like lost it, haven't I? Yeah, maybe it's because it is like. You know, at, uh, in the middle of the night, uh, and I'm just venting at this point. I'm just venting, you know. I'm just venting. Plus, there's like, no, uh, there's nothing for me to get, you know, upset about. At least, at least in this moment, there's nothing that upsets me. You know, I just, you know, don't want uh, to like ride motorcycles. I just hate it, you know. I'm exposed to the environment, okay. If it's raining, it's raining, and I'm wet and drenched, and I'm just exhausted. And I could develop a fucking fever, uh, for all you know. But uh, I, I just stroll right through it. All good, nice and dandy. Uh, and if it's hot, and it's really, really hot, okay, you are sweating and still get wet, and you have a fucking good chance to actually make your your bums well done, because I had my fucking buttocks cooked in fucking. 300 sorry <laughs> 300 I don't know I don't know like the the surrounding air could get like up to like 36 or 37 on a very hot day in Malaysia and it's humid people people say there's also like a very misconception like very bad misconception and people say like uh what you you you're complaining that it's hot when it's just only 36 degrees celsius it's fucking humid okay if it was like you know in australia or you know in western areas where like the air the surrounding air that you breathe that you are exposed to your skin and everything is dry if the air is dry uh, it's not humid you can potentially uh, you know have a nice stroll on a very nice 36 degrees Celsius kind of like weather and it's very sunny you, you get to see everything you know and if you're feeling hot or anything, take a sip. You know, nothing bad. But if it's 36 degrees Celsius and it's humid, imagine you're in a sauna. And if you don't know what a sauna is, basically you're in a room filled with hot steaming air. How does that make you feel? And you're used to sit in a sauna, 
you know, half naked, I guess. You're, you're like, you're only wearing a towel. But here we are in Malaysia, wearing full clothings. We're wearing t-shirts, pants, shoes to cover our sensitive areas so that we don't get skin cancer on our feet. And when you're riding a motorcycle like me, you're always wearing your trusty dandy windbreaker. And it gets hot inside and it gets sweaty, steaming and on. Oh, very nice. That's why I hate uh, riding motorcycles in Malaysia. If I were like riding uh, in like other countries or during a very good weather in Malaysia, I love riding motorcycles. But if it's fucking hot or fucking wet and windy, I do not like it a single bit. And I would rather stick myself to the fucking road than riding a motorcycle and i'm only like averaging about like what six seventy at best average speed on the road uh not in like housing areas okay it's just like typical normal roads okay i know my limits <laughs> unless if it's like you know a very nice straightaway and it's not busy just go for it at this point like i have nothing to lose so that's where my tendencies come in and just like i could have felt i could have fallen i could have fell i could have fell over there but i did good that's how i thought that's how that's how i think every time when i pass through a bump or uh you know hit a hit a bump or like a pothole in the on the road that's uh, that's the only thing that comes in my mind just like you didn't die good mm. it's like that's like every f every single man on earth like they're this close to experiencing an accident or potential death possibly and like they avoided it and they're just like yes <laughs> it's a good story to tell i almost fell because i hit a hole that was a little too deep <laughs> Oh uh, man, but there are some people, you know, men including, uh, that were just like complaining like, What? I could have died there and just like complaining, complaining, complaining. I just, you know, uh, appreciate that I didn't fail. I just appreciate that nothing bad happened. That's the only thing, you know, I just I appreciate. Thank you. Thank you, gosh. Darn it. I am so lucky to be alive and I am so lucky to finally reach my destination on my motorcycle. Uh, man. Oh, uh, overall, I give motorcycle uh, as a transportation option a 7 out of 5. A, <laughs> a 7 out of 10. <laughs> A seven out of ten okay so uh if you like it it's very easy to avoid traffics uh you get to point a to point b at you know very like reasonable uh, amount of time however there are some safety issues that can be avoided if you follow the road laws and you uh, wear sufficient uh, safety equipment like a proper helmet uh, pads if you really are scared of falling off over your motorcycles and you know hit your like fucking uh, what's this part called arms knees 
knees knees elbow there you go <laughs> i had to do the whole hands and shoulders knees and toes and arm and elbows there we go <laughs> uh but yeah uh just wear you know pads like even my mom he, she insisted me on getting like uh like safety pads uh to wear whenever i ride uh, my motorcycles but i feel like nah maybe maybe if it was like a very uh long journey i would wear it but if it's a short journey i take my risk <laughs> life's a gamble anyways you know there was a chance of me not being conceived but i am here 25 years later <laughs> but yeah uh i i enjoy riding my motorcycle it's done done okay there are parts i hate about it there are parts that i love about it it's basically like every other relationship you love it you hate it but you appreciate it all right uh i think we have to cut it off uh before i eventually turn this into a two hour special <laughs> so uh thank you for watching uh if you do enjoy uh you know watching these uh you know midnight talks uh chilling with me uh hit that subscribe like the video and share just share this uh, video with your friends your friends who ride motorcycles or your friends who have you know uh removable tendencies removing tendencies delete tendencies world deleting no no no, no. save file deleting tendencies turn it into a game analogy and maybe it won't get removed or strike yes all right i'm just yapping if you want to see i I will have like a part two because I'm still going to yap, uh, you know. But this is like the first part. You can watch the second part, uh, you know, below. I'll just put a link below in the description. And if you're just here for this one, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I love you all, uh, and I'll see you all uh, when I see you. Ciao. Okay, uh, part two, part two, part two, part two. Part two, part two, part two.